Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys two of the easiest ways to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. Now just to let you guys know, connecting your PS5 controller unfortunately isn't as easy as connecting your PS4 controller was because as far as I remember, the PS4 controller or the DualShock 4 was pretty much just plug and play. And that's not the case with the DualShock 5 anymore guys. There are a few additional steps that you need to do before you can start playing any game on your PC using your PS5 controller but it's still extremely easy and it's not going to take you more than 2 minutes to set it up. So without any further ado guys, let's just get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you're going to be using a third party application in order to emulate your PS5 controller as a valid device on your PC. So the software that I'm currently using is called DS4 Windows and I'm going to be leaving the link to this in my description box down below and as soon as you click on that link, you're going to be led to this website right here. And all you want to do from here on guys is just click on download. And then onto the next screen, you're going to be clicking on download once again, and it's actually going to start downloading. Now, for some reason, my screen recording hasn't captured uh, the taskbar below, so you're not going to be able to see that it is actually downloaded. Once it's downloaded, guys, you want to make sure to go uh, inside the folder and you want to make sure to click on DS4 and it's going to say application right next to the file type. And you want to make sure to click on this and you're going to be extracting all files guys once you extract all the files you're going to see the application with this icon right here guys so go ahead and open it up once this is open guys for the first step what you're going to be doing is you're going to be connecting your ps5 controller using a type c to usb cable and then once you connect this you're going to see an orange light show up briefly followed by a blue light and then when you go onto the DS4 Windows software, you're going to see that your controller has now been connected and you can pretty much just start playing any game from here on and it's going to work perfectly fine, guys. Now, this was the first step. And as you guys just saw, the first step does use a USB cable. Now, for the second step, we're going to be wirelessly connecting to the PC, guys. And in order to do this, you would require a Bluetooth feature on your PC. If you don't have Bluetooth, you could use this really cheap Bluetooth dongle from Amazon and it works perfectly fine. And you can also find the link to it in my description box down below. With that being said, I'm just going to unplug the cable first. And then in order to wirelessly connect your controller, click on the volume icon on the bottom right corner of the screen. Again, I'm sorry that you guys can see it, but once you click on it, go on to Bluetooth and then head over to settings. And then once you're on this screen guys, click on add a device and you're going to select the first option that says Bluetooth for mic, controller and so on. And then once you click on it, your PC is going to start searching for discoverable Bluetooth devices. And on your controller, you're going to press and hold the PlayStation button and the share button. And you're going to see a blue light blinking just like this. And on your computer screen, you're going to see wireless controller as a search result for your Bluetooth devices. So you're just going to be clicking on that. And as soon as you click on it, it is going to automatically connect to your PC. Now, once your controller is connected, you're also going to make sure it's connected on the DS4 software because without the DS4 software, your PC is just not going to recognize your controller as a valid device. And another important tip that you guys want to keep in mind always is connect your controller before you start any game because for a lot of games, if you connect the controller after you open up the game, it's just not going to work, guys. You want to make sure to connect your controller and then also make sure it shows up on the DS4 software in order for it to work properly. With that being said guys that was pretty much the video if you found this video to be helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it really helps me to bring out useful content for you guys that was all for today thanks a lot for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the